Hey everybody! All my makeup, clothing, everything is the same as in the previous video with one exception. I changed my nail polish. <laughs> um, this is China Glaze Turned Up Turquoise. My Chanel Rouge Noir chipped again so instead of just fixing that nail like I did the last time I decided it was time for a change and I thought maybe this would look pretty with the top that I had on. So China Glaze turned up turquoise, otherwise everything is the same as in the previous video. Oh yeah, I took my earrings off. Actually, I took all my jewelry off. Uh-oh. My necklace, my earrings, my bracelet, everything, my rings. Um, I wasn't really planning on filming this video, but I wanted to talk to you guys about how I remove my eye makeup because I don't think I've ever talked about this and I really feel as if this has some benefits. I use Spectrum Naturals Organic Coconut Oil to take off my eye makeup and one jar of this will last you forever. I am down at the bottom of the jar now which I know it looks like there's hardly anything left in there but um, there's actually a lot of product in terms of eye makeup so when when you buy coconut oil it comes in liquid form but then once it's been the jar has been opened and sitting around it turns into a hard waxy substance so now that it's down to the very bottom of the jar I have to scoop it out with a spoon and I just take about I'm gonna say two teaspoons probably worth. I just scoop out two teaspoons with a spoon and then transfer it to my hand. And then I put my hands together and I melt it, which brings it back to the form that it was in originally. And then I just dip a cotton pad, cotton square, in the liquidated coconut oil. And then I just wipe, wipe away my eye makeup and it comes off so easy. It doesn't matter what, how much eyeliner or mascara or eyeshadow or anything you have on, it comes off really easy. You don't have to scrub and tug and pull, which of course would be very bad for your skin. And um, I can't prove it, but I think that this has stimulated eye, eyelash growth. I don't know. It seems to me like ever since I started doing this, and I've been doing this now for, oh gosh, I would say six months I've been doing this, but it seems like my eyelashes grow longer, thicker, and I don't lose eyelashes like I used to. When I used to use a traditional eye makeup remover, it seemed like my eyelashes were always falling out when I removed my eye makeup. and. You know, you can only grow so many eyelashes at any given point in time. So I feel like I don't lose hardly any eyelashes now. And what I do have seems to grow longer and fuller. And But really the main reason that I like to use this is um, it takes off the eye makeup so easy. You don't have to fight or struggle with it at all. Plus, I like the idea of using something natural. Now, you can get coconut oil pretty much at any supermarket or health food store. I like to use this um, unrefined organic type because the way they process it isn't going to be as exposed to chemicals and so forth. So, um... Yeah, so, you know, I, I want to try to keep it as natural as possible, but it just works great as an eye makeup remover. Now, I've heard people say that they have done, used this in other ways for beauty-related things, um, but I haven't tried it for anything other than the eye makeup remover. I just use it for that. Once in a great while, I might use it as a body lotion, but I have this Neutrogena body oil in this big giant container. Actually, I had two of them. I got through one of those. <laughs> and I have been using that for so long. I just want to use it up. I, I like it, but um, 
it I've just had it forever and I, I need a change you know so um, I have used the coconut oil a few times as a body oil just for something different because <laughs> I've been using the Neutrogena body oil for so long and um, I don't feel like I like it as much as a body oil because it's so intense that um, it seems to take a while to sink into your skin so I'm, I'm not really wild about it for that purpose and then I know other people who have put it in their hair and used it like to as um, a treatment for their hair for deep conditioning I haven't tried that yet but um, I've heard that that works well but yeah so I just wanted to get on here and talk about this because I don't think I've ever talked about this before and um, so if you're looking for something a little more natural healthy and different that will remove all your eye makeup with no problem give it a shot and you can also use this um, for cooking you know what this works great for but once you've had this jar for a really long time you don't want to use it anymore for cooking um, it's only good for cooking for the first, um, what is it, three months? I can't remember now. I think it did have a, a, a little label on there before that has since fallen off. But you can only, and, and you can't refrigerate it because once you do, it's going to turn hard and then you won't be able to use it for anything. But once the jar is open, you don't want to use it for cooking past, I think it's three months. But anyways, what I was going to say is, this is really good for popping popcorn. Um, and what makes it great for that is when it doesn't have a tendency to burn like other oils do. But the best part is, you know how when you make popcorn, if, if you just are popping it the traditional way, like in a pan, there's always those kernels, the stubborn ones that don't want to pop. That doesn't happen with coconut oil. If you pop your popcorn in coconut oil, every single kernel will pop. I don't care how old your popcorn is or how long it's been sitting in the cabinet. So that's kind of neat too. But um, yeah, so coconut oil. That is all. Bye-bye.